Hello, my name is Cubits, and here's how you can use recent revelations about the Black Ops 2 netcode and animation lag to your advantage. YouTube user and apparent gaming scientist Oven Baked Muffin has observed, recorded, and documented the lag compensation prevalent in Black Ops 2. As disturbing as it is to see such a disconnect between player experiences in the same world, his review of the situation reveals how even the network code is optimized for a specific play style. This even applies to local and split screen play, as observed by user Mojo Wins. In earlier Call of Duty titles, the host was generally at a disadvantage, particularly in the Wii versions where performance could become a real issue. This caused significant rates of host dropping or migration, which was not fun for anyone. To promote uninterrupted games, the host has clearly been given the benefit of the doubt when it comes to hit detection in Black Ops 2. A main point of contention in the Call of Duty series is the developer's near nonsensical crusade against camping. Not only does this result in Swiss cheese map design and run and gun one shot quickscoping snipers, but the netcode is actually also in favour of those who blindly run around corners at the expense of more tactical stop and pop gameplay. Because of normal latency, and bolstered by a massive artificial delay, when you come out of cover could be, to you, a fifth of a second before the person waiting for you sees it, and that's with a 4 bar connection. This gives an insurmountable advantage to people who move out of cover as they encounter enemies. This also conversely punishes people who want to bottleneck enemy teams by laying traps, despite such tactics being promoted by several of the score streaks, like the nearly constant UAV. There's no point in fleeing either, as you will only make it into cover a fifth of a second after you thought you did. While this bias does cut the efficacy of campers by giving intruders a reaction time advantage, it's a hell of an awkward way of going about balancing the game. Call of Duty isn't the only series to tweak its netcode in this way. Uh, when the original Counter-Strike first optimised for cable internet users, the same thing happened, and you would constantly be killed after rounding a corner into cover. It was fairly intolerable in that game, since it didn't exactly feature bullet penetration, but Black Ops 2 was created over a decade later, with modern network speeds in mind, and the majority of the perceived lag is evident even in split-screen mode. This is the highest grossing series in gaming history, running on an iterative engine and produced every year. How are problems like this allowed to exist? I suggest you take a look at the revealing videos, uh, the links are in the description. The difference between the recent COD games and games like Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 in terms of outright latency is appallingly backward. While I really enjoy the changes Treyarch has brought to the formula, getting the basics right is a must. If they could finally uh, get rid of the instant kills and janky kill cams by addressing this ridiculous camera lag, even the weapon imbalances could be overcome by player strategy and skill. As is, you benefit greatly from just constantly running out of cover and spraying machine pistols at people. Well, that's my thoughts on one of the major factors affecting the current Black Ops 2 experience, and how you can leverage it to your advantage by altering your playstyle. If you liked this video, like it. Uh, if you have a comment, there's a section for that too. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments, and I'll see you online just a moment before you see me. UAV inbound.
Friendly UAV inbound. Go! 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 Go!